<laughs> All right, so see there, representing. I met this guy, we flying together. I get to find out this man has. Yes, man, you can go. This man has a Jamaican passport. Explain a Jamaican birth certificate. I was born in Jamaica, left when I was a year old. Oh, Pretty man. cool. I'm sorry. Yo, man. I'm sorry to hear. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, what was like, what did your family tell you about life in Jamaica back in their 60s? It was paradise. No crime. It was a very nice place to be. Oh, man. Thank you for that, though. You're welcome. So, what, what, what's your dream for your born land? To get back to paradise. So done with the crime. Yes. Done with the crime. Done with the corruption. Get it back to paradise. Yeah. Thank you, man. You're welcome. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views. We just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one, a blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, we are going to kick it off with another update involving this bombshell story where six weeks ago the wife of the PNP member of parliament Julian Silvera that's Melissa Silvera was pronounced lifeless at her home approximately six weeks ago said to have lost her life from natural causes now the police have revealed that it is not so Melissa Silvera get murder yeah man now i spoke about it in yesterday morning's vlog and i'll most definitely be giving you an update this morning so now the police have seized the firearm belonging to Julian silvera in his wife murder probe so the pnp member of parliament Julian silvera was interrogated by police personnel from the JCF Major Investigation Division, that's the MID, for several hours on Friday evening, he was questioned into the wee hours of Saturday morning. His gun has been seized for ballistic testing. It was initially reported about six weeks ago that Mrs. Silvera lost her life in her sleep from natural causes but a disclosure was made on friday that a post mortem report revealed three gunshot entry wounds into her body and turned up bullet fragments yeah man now the police believe that melissa was gunned down while she slept at the couple's home in Stony Hill, St. Andrew. And that would have taken place on November 10th. Now, a team of police personnel visited the house on the weekend and conducted forensic tests. Boy, I don't think they going to find nothing because whosoever do that is supposed to do a full house cleaning already. A way back November 10th. That would have taken place. Now, and the Spot News Media understands that, that subsequent to the loss of life of Mrs. Silvera, significant renovations were carried out on sections of the home. Tiles 
were reportedly replaced and the bed in which Mrs. Silvera is believed to have spent her final moments was also removed from the property which has also been repainted. Mrs. Silvera lost her life leaving behind three young children. Mr. Silvera has hired one of the country's leading criminal defense attorney, that's King's Counsel Peter Champagny, and as the police intensifies their investigation into his wife, Lassa Life, a brief statement was made by Mr. Champagny on Saturday. He stated that he's seen no evidence to suggest at this time that his client is being treated as a suspect. Juliana Silvera is reportedly denying any wrongdoing. The last alive of Mrs. Silvera, who is the daughter of a well-known PNP activist and the subsequent murder investigation are sending ripples through sections of the opposition PNP. Silvera has been active on the campaign trail in recent times with PNP President Mark Golin and is considered to be a key party operative in St. Mary. So that is it for now into this murder probe yeah man i will most definitely keep you updated in subsequent newscast and still in the parish of saint andrew a double knockings and clappings took place over there over the weekend well not a double it's a triple but i got two pictures of the three persons that lost their lives. In a place known as Iron River in Golden Spring, that's West Rural, St. Andrew. So four persons get caught up and wounded in the incident, sometime about 10 p.m. It is said that others were reportedly injured trying to escape the attack. A major probe is said to be underway. But we don't really see the knockings and clappings here in a mainstream media. I don't even have the name as yet of these two men that had reportedly lost their lives in that knockings and clappings. Now on the spot news media will most definitely be doing some digging, making some checks into why that knockings and clappings would have taken place and has taken the life of not one nor two but three in that rural community yeah man so i will most definitely update you in a subsequent newscast now over there in the parish of saint catherine old arbor to be more specific which is the St. Catherine South Police Division. This man presently on your screen is no longer among the land of the living as he lost his life to the hands of criminal elements. So there's a tense calm in sections of Old Arbor Bay following the loss of life of this man. He has since been identified as Donovan Taylor, a.k.a. Danman, in the streets. Now, according to the police, sometime in the evening, Danavan Taylor, otherwise called Danman, of a Nareen Lane address, get can up, losing him three pints, by a lone gunman. The police stated that Taylor, a 36-year-old fisherman, was at a bar along the fishing beach when he was attacked and conned up multiple times in close range, losing in life, same place, upon the spot. It is further understood that the fisherman had just returned from a day's work at sea when he was gone down. He was, however, rushed to the Mapen Hospital in a bid to save his life. But, of course, 
he was already gone when he arrived there. The police are stating that they have no motive yet for that knockings and clappings and investigation continues. And still in uh, the parish of St. Catherine, Holaba, to be more specific, a taxi man was found lifeless in his car in the community of Bushy Park, five miles southeast of Old Arbor. The taxi man in question has since been identified as 44-year-old church pen housing scheme resident Harun Harper, who plies primarily to the whole harbor and gutters communities. So following the gruesome discovery of Harper's body, detectives assigned to the old harbor CIB have commenced their probe into his loss of life. So according to the investigation, the police were summoned after residents heard loud explosions sometime around 11 p.m. in the night. It is said that a search of the area was conducted and Harper's body was found on the roadside lying in a pool of blood. Blood samples, a single spent casing and a ganja spliff was retrieved from the scene by detectives. The constabulary scene of crime unit was on site and the detectives are presently probing that case. It is also stated that a white Toyota Pro Box driven by Harper has been reportedly missing. So one might be wondering if they took his life to get the car to go on their rampage. Boy, may I tell my peeps, the thing really rough in a Jamaica. Yeah, man. But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.